Hi everyone, Nani here. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you know, my husband and I were going to have an eight or nine day backpacking trip from Fontana Lodge up to Icewater Springs Shelter and back, which would have been 94 miles round trip over an eight or nine day period. However, we got up to Molly's Ridge and unfortunately the dry, the, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, the water source was dried up and we also found out that the next shelter did not have ample water supplies either. So to be responsible, my husband and I decided that we would turn around and go back. And in doing that, we found that we were on that side of North Carolina and we didn't want to come back home and we didn't quite know what to do with ourselves. So we decided that we were going to make lemonade out of lemons and we did a couple of um, off-site adventures that we had not planned and sometimes those spontaneous things are the best. We did end up at Nanahala Outdoor Center and I thought that in addition to providing you with some photos and a little bit of video that I would provide you with some feedback on Nanahala. We have been there many, many times. Perhaps this information will be helpful for you in your logistical planning and being able to know what is available to you. I'm going to look back and forth at my notes. I want to make sure to include things that perhaps will be useful for you. The Nanahila Outdoor Center have cabins and there are large, large buildings that have numerous rooms with a common area in the middle. The common area has a full-size stove, oven, refrigerator, microwave, a washer, and a dryer. And the washer and dryer are at no charge. That's just part of what you pay to actually be able to stay in the rooms there. There is no soap provided for you to do laundry. It's just that the washer and dryer are available and they work well. My grandson and I went on a whitewater rafting trip to Nanahala in June of this year and had a fabulous time. It was his first trip and I'll add a little photo here. We stayed in the dogwood cabin. Each one of the cabin buildings has a certain name and we stayed in the dogwood. It was clean and uh, we had a king size bed with it was a private room with a king size bed, a private bathroom, and then you came out to the common area to be able to use any of those facilities that you wanted to use. It worked out great for us. We were able to wash our clothes, keep our food in the refrigerator, it was marked, and use the freezer. It, it, it worked out really well. So rates will be changing November 15th, 2022 they have not yet been posted. If you want to stay in the Dogwood or one of those other cabins that has a king size bed with a private room, the rate was $107.39 and that included taxes and fees. Now that is an off season rate. Uh, that is not high season rates. And that's just something that you're going to have to check out when you decide you're going to be coming through and talking to NOC. I'm going to leave the phone number for reservations below so you can contact them. There are a lot of prompts that you have to hit to get to the reservation line. So I'm just going to give you like the number one, the number five, and the number one after the main number to get you to new reservations. Um, and then you don't have to listen to all of those different prompts. If you want to do laundry, they do have a general store at the Nanahila Outdoor Center and they sell Tide Pods for 50 cents each. That doesn't include tax, but they are 50 cents each. They also sell them in scented and unscented for those of you that have sensitive skin. There is another facility for through hikers to be able to stay and that's called Base Camp. Base Camp, you can get a private room that is just a small room. It has air conditioning, it has heating, and it has one set of twin bunk beds in it. The door locks, you get a key to that door. There is nothing else in there. 
There is no television set. There, there is nothing. They have electronic outlets for you to be able to charge your electronics. And in the base camp area, they have a common area that has several stoves, several refrigerators. Um, they have a couple of microwaves. There is not a washer and dryer in base camp. Uh, I will explain more about washers and dryers to you in just a moment. I wanna finish talking about base camp first. The thing about base camp is when you stay in those bunk beds, they have thin little mattresses and there are no linens. You will have to use your sleeping bag and your pillow, whatever it is that you have. It, it is just a basic rudimentary room. It is one step higher than actually staying in your tent. It's just that you're in an enclosed environment with air conditioning and heating. That's all there is. Now, in the common area of base camp, they have shower facilities and sometimes they have towels and sometimes they don't. And so you need to make sure that you have a towel, your own personal towel, to be able to dry yourself off after you take a shower. Please do not depend on them to provide a towel for you. If there's one there, great. But if there's not, you know, you're gonna have to do a drip dry after you're done showering. They also do not provide soap for the shower, so you're going to need to have your own soap as well. Um, nor is there a blow dryer or any of that sort of thing. It, it, it is very, it's a base camp. It's just rudimentary. The showers, as far as cleanliness, they are clean daily, but I can tell you that I don't think a lot of elbow grease is used in cleaning those showers. And you might want to have your base camp shoes that you actually wear into the shower so you're not having splash back on your feet from funk that's coming off of other people. It's a good place to clean off. You'll be happy that you've had a shower, but it I would not say that it is the cleanest presentation of a shower facility that you probably ever experienced. Again, it is base camp. I want to overemphasize this. It, the Nanahala Outdoor Center has two restaurants. One is the Rivers Inn restaurant and one is Wesser Cafe. Now, Wesser Cafe is seasonal. It is not open in the winter months. And so, depending on when you're coming through, it may or may not be open. And both restaurants are right there, kind of in the same area. Um, it's not like you have to go a long distance to get from one to the other. They're, they're right next to each other. The Rivers Inn Cafe is a very good restaurant. I have eaten there, we have eaten there many times, and except for one time, our experiences there have been very positive and the food has been good. The entrees can be a little pricey. They range from 12 to $20 per entree. And like I said, I had one bad experience there. In fact, it was in June of this year. The chef found out I had had a bad experience and he did his very best to make amends for the fact that it was not optimal. Um, therefore, he gets big kudos from me um, and I would not hesitate to recommend somebody going there to eat. If you are staying the night there, they do not serve breakfast. The Riverside Restaurant is open seven days a week, as is the general store, as is the Outfitters. The Outfitters does sell some backpacking meals, although I feel like it is a very small selection. They do have lots of repair and gear uh, equipment in the outfitting store. They're knowledgeable, and if you are looking for shoes, insoles, socks, anything that is wicking material clothing, they have it there. The general store, is is a nice little store and that is where you need to go to actually check into either base camp or the hotel it doesn't matter where you're going to stay if you're going to spend the night you need to go to the general store it's best for you to make reservations in advance when you get ready to come into moc and you want to either get a room because you have not called in advance if a room is available or you're trying to get the key to get into the room that you have reserved, you will need to go to the general store. The personnel there are very, very nice. I will say that they move a little slow, so you need to be patient when you are getting ready to go in there and have 
a great attitude about it. Um, they just, they, they move on a different clock and, you know, they're in a very laid back environment or professional, but they just move a little slow. And uh, if you are coming, if you have made a reservation and you arrive at the general store after hours, then they will have a packet of information for you on the outside of the store in a wooden box. It will have your name on it. It will have the key to your room in it, and it will have a map telling you how to get from the general store to base camp or from the general store to the cabin. They're not, it, it's kind of funny, the general store is not right next to those, those areas. You kind of have to cross the street and kind of go up around a little bend to get to base camp. And if you're coming in in the middle of the night, it could be a little bit confusing. So these maps are going to be very helpful for you. Now I want to return to talking about the laundry facilities. They do not have a washer and dryer in base camp. They do have them in the cabins, but they do not have them in base camp. There are washer and dryer laundry facilities behind the general store. And uh, currently they are closed because they're undergoing repair. But when through hiker season begins in February or March, they will be reopened and available. They are coin operated and you can get your coins from inside the general store. Again, you can get your tied pods from inside the general store as well. And again, they are 50 cents scented or unscented. The laundry facilities charge $2 for a load of washing and $2 for a load of drawing. So you're gonna to need to have $4 whenever you want to do one load of clothes. Additionally, as far as base camp is concerned, they do have a general dining hall there and you can prepare your own meals. You can cook there. They have a kitchen that is stocked where you will be able to do that if that's what you're interested in doing. The general store is stocked well for those individuals that like eating less nourishing choices. Um, basic backpacking food available. They do not carry backpackers meals. They do have a few healthy choices in there, but it is a very few. They do have an ample supply of beer and ice cream. The base camp rate for two individuals staying in a room with a set of bunk beds is $47.73. That is not each, that is the price for the room as a whole. So whether one person stays in there or two, the price of the room is $47.73. I'm switching gears here. I want to give you some other information that is not necessarily about NOC. If you do decide to stay at NOC and you want to be able to go into town to resupply, you're not going to have a resupply box, then you can go into Bryson City. And Bryson City is 13.7 miles from NOC. It is an 18 minute drive. It is around a lot of windy up and down curves. It's, it's in the mountains and that's what you'll have to go through to get there. There are two grocery stores that are in Bryson City. One is an ITA and one is an Ingle. They also have a laundromat there, Joe and Kate's laundromat, that I could recommend. Um, they also have a wonderful Mexican restaurant, and I can't give you the breakdown on all the restaurants that are there, but because Mexican food is my favorite, um, we have eaten at Guayabitos numerous times, and the food there has been very good every time that we have gone. It's been consistent. When you are staying at Fontana Dam, and I should have included this in my Fontana Dam video, but I failed to do so. Um, my apologies. It's kind of getting thrown in here, but if you do stay at Fontana Dam, you can go uh, 21 miles or 31 minutes into Robbinsville. And Robbinsville has an Ingalls grocery store there, with, and they have a laundromat called the Washboard that is there where you can do your laundry and take care of those things. This is a bit of a lengthy video as I'm trying to give you information by sharing with you, and then I'm going to have the actual videos that I have taken from visiting NOC. I hope that it's been helpful, and if you would consider 
hitting like button and subscribing to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I would really appreciate it. Um, I have gotten a lot of very good positive feedback from people that have subscribed and to those of you that are watching the videos. I appreciate the encouragement and the comments that you are providing. Uh, they're, they've been uplifting, they've been funny, some of them have been heartbreaking depending on the video that's been posted, but I appreciate that you know some of you are choosing to join me on my journey. Thank you very, very kindly. It means so much. You take good care, and I'll see you in the next video. When you're in Nanahala, this is when you, when you come off the trail and you simply come across the street here. And this is the general store, you're at the back of the general store. You come around and across the street is the Outfitters. And you can see it says, Welcome Hikers. And right here is the general store. Across the street is the River Sand restaurant. And then down the little walkway right down there, you can go to a cafe. And further up around the corner is where the hostel and the hotel rooms are. Lots of junk food. Lots and lots of drinks. Got some food here, and some food up here, lots of beer. This is the Outfitter store where you can get supplies, resupply, and you can also have your packages mailed to the store for resupply as well. And then the River's End is a restaurant that has pretty decent food. There's also another restaurant down on the end of this bridge. It's called Big Wesser Cafe, and they have good food as well. This is where individuals that are going to be entering the Olympics actually come to practice. Here is the uh, NSC Outfitter Center. Information to through hikers about uh, permits for the Great Smoky Mountains. Here are the store hours for the Outfitter. Well, they do have a pretty good selection of clothing in here. One of the things that they do have that's particularly good is a resupply of shoes if you're looking to resupply. Shoes, socks, insoles. So when you come upstairs, they do have resupplies here. Four packs, fanny packs, rain covers, pack covers, headlamps, they've got fuel. This is a very, very small supply of hiker food. Got some bags. They have quite a selection of buffs. They've got bul buckle replacements. Kinds of repair. Got thermal rest pads. Foot glide. And then the rest of this is for whitewater rafting. 
leaving the NOC and you're trying to get right back on the trail, notice there's a white blaze on this telephone pole. It really needs to be painted again. All those fellows you see in the back are guides for the river rafting. Okay, so right behind that NOC, you just come through the parking lot, you find that pole, and then here are the railroad tracks. And cross over these tracks. 